Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and this is one that I have been wanting to make for a while now, and I'm going to be proving to you why the LEGO community is the best YouTube community. I have posted on my Discord a while ago a thumbnail, the thumbnail in this video that I made um, with a bunch of LEGO YouTubers on the Avengers Endgame movie poster. It took me forever to edit and to like crop out and all that, so I hope you guys enjoy it. One of the first reasons why I think this is true is to compare it heavily to the controversial Star Wars commu community. Yes, there are some amazing people in that community, such as the Star Wars theory, but after The Last Jedi, it was divided over the movie. Some people liked The Last Jedi and thought it was a surprising addition to the Star Wars universe. In my opinion, I thought it was, o it was an okay movie, but it, let it was a major letdown to The Force Awakens and answered no questions regarding the movie and paused all character development. Luke Skywalker, it, which is one of the most iconic and good-hearted characters in cinematic history, turned into an old hermit who does not care if the First Order d destroys the universe the next day, and in my opinion, is one of the most poorly written characters I've seen in a while. As you can see, this divided the Star Wars fandom. Many people also dislike Solo in a way to boycott The Last Jedi, and I personally love Solo and agree with many that it did not des deserve the hate it got. Star Wars YouTubers also are also continuously at each other's necks about every opinion another makes. The Last Jedi also le led c actress Kelly Mary Tran to delete all of her social media accounts due to an unpleased Star Wars fans t harassing her. The same thing happened to Admit Omhead Best, who t almost took his own life because of the poorly written characters he was required to play. It's not their fault they had to portray an annoying character. However, few Star Wars YouTubers shine light on the Star Wars community, such as a Star Wars Fury Theory, who made a high, highly successful Vader fan film, which is one of the best video, in my opinion, which is his best video, in my opinion, um, with more to come, and the best thing that has come from Star Wars that never came from Lucasfilm, Disney, or Lego. That is such a small fraction of the Star Wars community, and I greatly hope it, it that it patches uh, things up after Jon Favreau's Mandalorian, Disney Plus show, Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker, and Jedi Fallen Order. The LEGO community is one of the best places where people can share, expand, and grow their hobby of LEGO collecting or building. The best part of the LEGO community is, the YouTube, is YouTube for sure. It is one of the best ways to make friends with other people who have similar, similar hobbies. It is also filled with amazing LEGO YouTubers such as MNR Productions, Just Too Good, Brickitect, and Jang Bricks, and of course many many others. There are usually not many bad people in the LEGO community, but I'll just name some quickly because I want to be honest to you guys that you know there's always going to be a bad batch of the um, of LEGO YouTubers. And now you might have a different opinion than this, but um, this is simply my opinion and many other people's opinions. Um, so here are the names quickly, Brick Queen, Brick Titan, Life Brick Studios, Just a Kid That Rants, and Paul. Screw Paul, we'll get into him later. Now with those names out being dropped like a nuke in World War II, we'll get into why these are bad people. It all starts when MNR Productions starts his legendary series called The Brick Buster. Ryan has only made three of these since January of 2017, the first two on BrickLink YouTubers who buy all of one set across multiple stores to sell them separately on their BrickLink store. Now this is a terrible thing and he mostly, he mostly comes at, calls out the Brick Plumber due to his most I famous quote. I'm buying them all. None of the kids can have them. They're all for me. <laughs> You're a kid. You can't have them unless you go to my store. Our third and best brick buster is on the Brick Queen and Brick Titan, who have caused chaos and confusion to many in the LEGO community. Brick Queen was one of the first LEGO YouTubers and covered mostly Star Wars and Harry Potter. Uh, she eventually met Brick Titan and they got engaged. The Brick Queen was one of the first LEGO YouTubers and mostly covered Harry Potter and Star Wars. She eventually met the Brick Titan and they got engaged or married, I am not too sure. They began having money problems where 
and they blamed Lego for being too expensive, and this is really due to taxes and inflation, which they do not control. Then they started to complain and tried to do everything to get free things. They then made a video declaring that they are officially quitting Lego for that absurd reason. Now, it sounds like a reasonable reason to force yourself in, to go in a dark age, but the simple solution is to buy a set, review it, make money from that video, and then sell the set. Many people tell them this, but they don't listen and proceed to make as many videos as they possibly can to make as much money as they possibly can. After a massive quantity of their subscribers leaves, um, after the news, they start they start asking for subscribers back. Now, this is a terrible way to do it. It's like giving a 10-year-old $20 and being asking for it back. Now, they say they quit Lego, even though they're still making Lego videos now, so I really don't understand what happened, because literally the next day, after they uploaded that video, there was a Lego video, and then they start doing these vlogs, Friday time, or whatever, I really have no idea, but it's pretty bad. Now, now with over 170,000 subscribers, they only get about 400 views per video if they're lucky. They also complain that they don't receive any free things from Le the LEGO group because they don't care for them. The real reason is they don't want, they don't receive any uh, free things is because they can continuously plead for three free things and they are not in the land where you get free things. Uh, when Warner Bros. did send them a package with many Ninjago pro products, they are still mad that they weren't getting free things. Now, now enough about them because it's making my brain want to go into my feet. Now, now we will talk about Paul, the white supremacist neo-Nazi who has scammed fellow U Lego YouTuber Rich Boy J in the Brickwoods thousands of dollars after setting up a fake sponsor sponsorship for their mocks. Now, this is all because the Brick Brickwiz and Rich Boy J were a different ethnicity. He's he's still out there and clearing everything from his name. But if someone donates hundreds of dollars to you in a live stream and continues to give you thousands of dollars, look them up. Make sure that they're not scamming you because that's what basically happened. Just a little advice for me. Now Life Brick Studios is a complete a hole who also used to harass me, me Ryan, and M and R Ryan because we were, we both pointed out the scummy things and the bad things he did. His channel is pretty much dead though since he ran out of ideas to copy M and R on. Just a kid that rants also gets on my nerves every single time um, I see him on in like a stream or something. He made the exact opposite video that I'm making right now. Now I have some beef with him. Whenever I'm on a chat with a live stream that he's also on, he starts doing his normal BS and starts bullying and trolling people. And I try to defend them. It's most it's the most I could do because some because sometimes nobody ever sees what's going on. Yeah, that his name matches what his channel does. He makes rant videos on M and R as much as he can. If you look at his channel, he might have at least twenty. And yeah, he also has the crappiest like camera ever. I remember watching his why the Lego community is not the best community on YouTube and it's in 240p I believe so yeah get a new camera guy um, or camera um, now let's get right into the happier things because I feel like this video is gonna start depressing people there are so many nice Lego youtubers in the community such as MNR Productions, Solid Brick Studios and his girlfriend Meredith just too good. The Brick Wiz, Jang Bricks, Rich Boy J, Clone Trooper X39, Brick Vault, Brick Attack, and Dalek Bricks. Those are just a small quantity of amazing and nice LEGO YouTubers who all share a similar hobby, LEGO. There are different subgroups in this LEGO community, such as Mock Builders, uh, Mock stands for My Own Creation, Set Reviewers, News, Leaks, Rumors People, Gamers, Vloggers, and the people that do most of it if not everything. I fall into the category of er everything except vlogging because I'm not the biggest fan of it. I also try to do as Lego, Lego news as much as possible, but usually Just Too Good or Brother from Another Brick gets the information out first. I've been in the Lego community since October of 2017. I've been watching it longer than I started my channel, but um, I was introduced to Lego by my father, who gave me his entire collection of 1980s space sets. I was hooked. I was I was hooked. Like, there is no turning back. Someone says, oh, you're not getting any more Lego? Watch me. The first set that I got on my own was the 2009 Clone Trooper Battle Pack, and is still one of the best memories I've had from 
um, my childhood. However, sometimes people do go into their dark ages where you stop collecting Lego for a while. I would say I went in my dark age from 2012 to 2014. I still collected Lego, but not a theme I was partic particularly fond of now, which is Ninjago. One of my biggest regrets Lego-wise is collecting Ninjago. I wish I just stuck with Star Wars or got into Marvel a bit sooner. I look back on all the Clone Wars and prequel sets that I wish I got instead of Ninjago, which are all destroyed in pieces that I'll never use, like the blue dragon heads in a are actually in a bag in my closet labeled not, not usable. Um, I do hope to sell these um, for some money to you know, buy Star Wars sets that I would actually appreciate and, and want, but I am ne since I mostly collect Marvel, Star Wars, and Harry Potter, which I am happy with because because I'd say since I joined the community, it has been the best two years of my life. Approximately a year ago, I had merely 50 subscribers, and now I, at the time of writing the script, I have 240 or 232. Now I have 242. So. That was like a week ago, so no, four days ago it said I wrote the script. My channel has gotten to be massive over the past year because of the LEGO community. I was featured on the Brick Wizards channel once where we talked about the new Star Wars Rise of Sk the Skywalker Saga game that was announced. It was in I was also in many episodes of MNR Memes, Just Do Goods OSRS, and MNR's Q&A series multiple times. I also made a top 10 LEGO YouTubers video which caught the attention of Just Too Good and the Brick Wiz, which I was completely flabbergasted by. At the time, I only had around 40 subscribers, and that was one of my f channel's first big videos. Now I have one that has roughly 4.7 thousand views, and my 100 subscriber special, um, which was made uh, in March 2019, which has about 3.7 thousand views. In my mind, and for a channel at that size, I was blown away and felt like they went viral. I know they didn't because they weren't on trending, but I really don't care. In my mind, they went viral, and I was still happy and proud of myself. LEGO conventions are an amazing way to meet people. I have personally never been to one, and it is on my bucket list to go to one someday. My main issue is school, and also I don't know how to get there so because I can't drive legally yet. And the LEGO community you also don't need to deal with a lot of drama from other youtube communities and there also aren't as many haters out there except for paul screw paul yeah you might get a dislike here or there but hey it's the youtube the youtube algorithm somehow likes them and i usually focus on the amazing comments people the lego community is a really amazing place for people to share and expand upon their hobby one of my biggest goals in life is to to continue my youtube career and lego collecting and mock building um, one way that might get my way would be college, but I'll figure that out in a couple of years. And of course, I'm going to like if I've been doing this for this long, there's no turning it back because if I get rid of all Lego in my life, literally it, my room would be empty and just have like, I don't know, uh, a lamp on my desk. So, so I had an amazing time writing the script and filming this video. If you're just a viewer, make a video or two and put yourself out there because maybe one day you might become the next Jang Bricks or Just Do Good, but just don't copy their names because people might get angry and sometimes in this community especially. Say something, um, Some someone's always going to be offended by some, one thing you say no matter what. Someone, I could say the and then someone might be offended by that. I really don't care. Um, but you know, people, it's very, this day and age is just kind of screwed up. The Lego community is one of the best places to go to if you feel depressed or dead inside and it completely changes your perspective of life and your meeting, meaning the Lego community is my place. It's my happy place. It's like my room is the, if I were to be in one place for the rest of my life continuously, it would be my room because I can do unlimited things in there, and also my, uh, there's a bathroom attached to my room, so I can just drink water if I get thirsty. Or New or New York, I I love that place. New York City, best place ever. So much opportunity. If I were to only do one thing, it would be with be with to be with friends and family from anywhere. Um, it could be my personal family, or it could be a YouTube family. I or just people or friends from school, friends from 
anywhere. Like, that's what I want to do. And also, you know, movie stuff and Lego stuff, that's the best thing ever. I hope that you all have an amazing rest of your day, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.